Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on color theory. Now before we start the session, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. Do you know that in order to become a good UI UX designer and employ colors more effectively, you need to understand how colors are formed and how they are related to each other. That's why students at arts and school, colleges and universities study science color. This color theory devoted to colors nature. You will learn about design, deploy and implement all these principles to get a comprehensive idea of what principles are followed for color theory. Now without further ado, let's begin our session. So, what is basically a color theory? Color theory is a collection of rules and guidelines which designers use to communicate with users through appealing color schemes in visual interfaces. To pick up the best colors every time, designers use a color wheel and refer to extensive collected knowledge about human optical ability, psychology, and color. Sir Isaac Newton established color theory when he invented color wheel in 1666. Newton understood that the colors are the human perception, not as absolute qualities of wavelength of light. By systematically categorizing colors, he defined basically three groups. First was primary, which included red, blue, and yellow. The second one was secondary, which was mixes of primary color. And third one was tertiary or intermediate mixes of primary and secondary colors. Now, let's look at what is a color wheel. So, if you had any lessons related to painting, you must have seen the circle consisting of different colors. It is basically called the color wheel, which helps us to understand how colors relate to each other and how they are combined. The color circle is basically built by primary, secondary and tertiary colors. The primary are those, the three pigment colors that cannot be formed by any combination of other colors. Combining primary colors, we get the secondary ones. And the mix of primary and secondary colors gives us the tertiary colors, which usually have two names such as red, violet. The color circle was created by Isaac Newton in a systematic way. And since then, it has gone through many transformations, but still remains the main tool for the color combination. The main idea was that the color wheel must be made in such a way so that the color would be mixed appropriately. Following Newton's finding, the study of color advanced to cover the properties of color in its two forms, print or paint and screen or light. And in the variety of fields from art to astronomy, a color's property can be categorized as first hue, which means how it appears, suppose green, chroma, which means that how pure it is. If it has shades, means black added, tints or white added or tones or gray added. If we talk about the third one, lightning, you can consider as how pale or saturated it appears. In user experience or UX design, you need a firm grasp of these color theory to craft harmonious meanings of designs for your users. Now, let's discuss about color models. So, before you start mixing the colors, you need to understand that the color has two different natures. The tangible colors, which are the surface of the objects, and the other colors, which are produced by lights, such as beams of TV. These type create two color models by which wheel is formed. The first one is additive and the second one is subtractive. Let's study about the additive color model. The additive color model consists of red, blue and green as a primary colors. So it is also known as RGB color system. This model is the basis of all colors used on the screen. The combination of primary colors in equal proportion of this system produces secondary color, which are cayenne, magenta and yellow. But you need to remember that the more light you add, the brighter and lighter the color becomes. Results obtained by mixing additive colors are often counter-initiative for the people accustomed to the subtractive color system of paints, dyes, inks and other tangible objects. Let's study about subtractive color model. The subtractive color model obtains color by the subtraction of light. It consists of two color systems. The first one is RYB which means that red, yellow and blue, also known as artistic system, often used in art education, especially in painting. The RYB was a basis for the modern scientific color theory, which determined that cayenne, magenta and yellow are the most effective set of three colors to combine. This is how the color model or CMY has been formed. It was mostly used in printing when the photomechanical printing included black ink, the key component, the system was named as CMYK, cayenne, magenta, yellow and black. Without these additional pigment, the shade closest to the black would be muddy brown. Now let's discuss about the psychology of color. If we talk about additive versus subtractive color, you should remember the major difference between these two systems. So additive is for digital screen and subtractive for print media. If the design project you are working on is meant to be printed, do not forget the simple but the crucial rule. 
colors you see on the screen never look the same in the print. Additive color spectrum is wider than CMYK, which is the reason why designers are recommended to convert their projects to the subtractive system of colors before printing so that they could see the result close to what they would get. However, if you work with a digital project, RGB color system is a wise choice because it allows creating amazing things with its wide color spectrum. So, if we talk about the color harmony, the word harmony usually associates with something orderly, pleasing. The color harmony is all about arrangement of the color design in the most attractive and effective way for users' perception. When the colors are organized, viewers feel pleased and calm, while disharmony in design gives feeling of chaos and disgust. The color balance is vital in design since users make their perception of the website or the application by the first look. Colors have a big influence. Designer distinguish the basic color schemes that work effectively. So, if we talk about monochromatic, it based on one color with various tones and shades of it. The monochromatic harmony is always a winning choice since it's hard to make a mistake and create a distasteful color scheme. If we talk about analogous, to create an analogous harmony, you need to use colors right next to each other on the color wheel. This type of color scheme is used for the design when no contrast is needed including the background of web pages or banners. If we talk about the complementary scheme, the complementary scheme is a mix of color placed in front of each other on the color wheel. This scheme is opposite to analogous and monochromatic since it aims to produce high contrast. For example, an orange button on the blue background is hard to miss in any interface. Let's discuss about split complementary. This scheme works similar to the previous one, but it employs more colors. For instance, if you choose the blue color, you need to take two others which are adjacent to the opposite color meaning, means yellow and red. The contrast here is sharp than in the complementary scheme, but it also allows using more colors. Let's discuss about triadic scheme. So, when the design requires more colors, you can try triadic scheme. It is based on three separate colors which are equidistant on the color wheel. To save balance with this scheme, it is recommended to use one color as dominant and other color as accents. Let's discuss about tetradic or double complementary scheme. The tetradic color scheme is for the experienced designer since it is the most difficult to balance. It employs four colors from the wheels which are complementary pairs. If you connect to the points on the chosen color, they form a rectangle. The scheme is hard to harmonize but if you do everything right, the results may be stunning. There is a note. For example, in color theory, there is a complex science which requires more than one day to learn. However, it is vital to understand and the basics so that you could create the effective design with the knowledge of what you are doing. Now let's understand the role of colors in the user interface design. Understanding a color psychology is a key aspect of creating a color palette that works well with the digital design. While color is sometimes thought as a purely aesthetic choice by some designer. It is in fact a key component of psychological impact of designs on users as such as its UX. A well thought out color palette can elevate a color design from good to great while a medicure or bad color palette can detract from a user's overall experience and even interface with the ability to use a site or an app. So while a color theory is in general is a complex subject as we have seen earlier that the use of color in UX design covers more than just as creating a palette that just looks nice such as accessibility and psychological effects of even different shades of within the same hue. So how does color affects its user? So what happens designers can gradually incorporate better use of the colors in their design without needing to rethink their, their, their entire process. Once a designer has covered the basics, one of the most rewarding points of color theory is learning to incorporate the more and unexpected colors into their design. So this color can be used by the designer to impact how the user feel about the brand and how they perceive certain elements. So if we talk about the component of the color according to the Munzel system, we have hue, chroma and value. So what is a hue? Hue characterizes the color spectrum in its most purest form such as red, yellow, purple, blue and it can go so on. U is a color wheel degree from 0 to 360 where 0 or 360 represents red and where 120 represents green and 240 represents blue. If we talk about chroma, the dominance of U is also known as chroma saturation. Chroma is also expressed as a percentage whereas 0% represents shades of grey 
while 100% represents full color. If we talk about value or lightness, it shows the overall chroma of color. Lightness is measured as a percentage from 0% is known as black and 100% is known as white. Now, now let's discuss about cultural difference in color. Our eyes can perceive up to 10 million of colors. In a brochure, if I say, such as a website, a color directs the eye, it evokes the emotion, communicates the meaning and ultimately helps to establish a company's identity. As important as color is cross-cultural communication, there is no hard-coded formula. Perceptions vary from region to region and a single color may have different and even a contrasting meaning around the world. Suppose if we talk about red, what happens in many western countries such as in North America, South America as well as Europe, red is associated with love and passion. Red is also associated with purity in India, a country where brides traditionally wear red wedding dresses. If we talk about Latin America, red can also have a religious connotation when combined with white. Red evokes danger and caution in Middle East. And if we talk about China, red symbolizes luck and happiness. One reason it is used in Chinese restaurants in the US. It is also the color of the Chinese New Year. Let's discuss about blue. In Western cultures, blue denotes safety and trust. The color is commonly associated with masculinity and the project's authority, loyalty and security. For this reason, it is used by many banks and has become a standard for police uniforms. Blue is a dichotomous color because it bears both positive and negative connotations. Blue can be representative of trust and tranquility, but it also can represent depression and loneliness to some extent. Thank you. That was all from my side. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in UI UX design, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in UI UX design strategy. It is taught by IIT Guwahati professors and industry experts with more than 10 years of experience. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.